Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Monday Mentor. I'm here with my good friend and partner in crime, Charisma Star. Hey! <laughs> hey, so we're up on assignment up in Redding, California, speaking at a conference with Bethel, um, Bethel up in Redding, and they're a wonderful church and a music industry, or music ministry, and we are speaking tonight and doing a performance, so that's going to be a lot of fun. But today is Monday Mentor time, so I wanted to give you a video really quick on just talking about fear and anxiety and how it can actually be a strength, and how to benefit from fear and anxiety, as well as depression. Uh, we hear those words circulating a lot in our world, um, you know, and especially in the arts and in creativity. We hear a lot of people that wrestle with that, and they see that as a hindrance. So I just wanted to share with you my perspective on it, my take on it. Karis is going to kind of speak into it, too. I just thought I'd grab her because we were doing this this uh, this project together. But I thought, for for me, the reason why I think it's a benefit, even though I saw it as a like, almost like a something was wrong with me for a long time, was that it actually makes me see the world through a different lens. And it's actually one of the biggest blessings that I have in my life because it allows me to see people. It allows me to see my gift. and allows me to see what God's creation and what he's put around us um, through an entirely different lens. Uh, and it's not, I don't think if I, if I didn't have those in my life, I wouldn't see, um, I wouldn't see the world in technicolor in that way. Uh, it's because I've seen the dark spots. I've seen the underbelly of life. It's allowed me to then see the glorification of what's so beautiful and see that through like almost hypersensitivity. Do you relate at all to this? Yeah, I think for me, uh, because I struggled with depression and anxiety so much in my past that when it comes to me now that I could recognize it for what it is. And for me, it gives me compassion for somebody that's going through that exact same thing that I could pray for them. Totally. And 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 use that in that way. And also how you're saying for you have to go through those valleys to get to the mountains. Totally. Yeah, so we just hope this is a little bit of an encouragement for you guys. What are some of the tricks that you use, like when when you're low? Yeah. What are some of the what are your go to, what can we provide as 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 a strategy? What do you do when you're low? For me personally, um, I have to turn on the worship music and get into that place with God to help me feel better. I also go to Disneyland. There you <laughs> it's go. a practical thing. I yep. love being in a place in a place where you feel uplifted and encouraged and free. Go to that place. Totally. For me, I usually take myself on what I call an artist date. I get out of my normal routine and my normal zone, and I go to some place that that kind of juices my heart a little bit. Sometimes that's a really great garden or um, Sometimes it is a place like Disneyland. It's a place of inspiration. Sometimes it's a really great designed restaurant for me where I can just go and it um, gives me inspiration in that setting, sit there, write on my laptop, journal, have a cup of coffee, uh, and it's a lot of fun in that way. And it's not just a matter of snapping out of it, but most importantly, it's running alongside those who get you, and you can share that with somebody as well, saying, hey, I'm feeling kind of low. I'm not bowing out, but I at least want to uh, get some encouragement. So I hope this helps you guys. I hope you have a great week. And uh, thanks for Karis being here. Of course. And we're having a lot of fun. And if you happen to get this, tune into Periscope tonight, either on Noah Elias, and you can watch live as we perform tonight, or what's your, what's your handle on Christmas Star? Christmas Star. Okay. Hope you guys have an amazing week. You are loved. Glad you are here. Please leave a comment down below. And you can see uh, Karis' links as well in my description. Thanks. Love you guys.